Today, guys, we're going to do a continuation of our uh, basically house concealment or zip cover videos. If you haven't seen the uh, previous video, we hit it with the 50, and that's what these uh, pieces of drywall are going to be damaged from. So we've already made annotations next to those holes. But uh, today, we're going to move back to the 556, and we're going to choose the popular NATO choices. We got uh, M193, 55 grain, full metal jacket. We got M855 Ball, which is a 62 grain with a mild steel penetrator. We got M855A1, which is the brand new offering. And then we got a Black Hills uh, 77 grain Bobtail Hollow Point. And we're going to shoot these out of a 16 inch AR from a distance of probably about 15, 20 yards. I'm gonna head on back there and we'll get started. So uh, we're back here, 15, 20 yards. And uh, first offering is gonna be M193, which is a 55 grain ball. Um, I didn't mention earlier, but these uh, walls are built basically to code. The first wall is gonna be OSB, insulation OSB. And then after that, I believe it's a half inch drywall, studs, half inch drywall. So without further ado, I'm gonna load it up and see if I can hit my target there. Well, elevation's a little tricky. Say, hey, we knocked some walls down. Uh, M193 55 grain ball. Here's our entrance right here. Went clean through, started tumbling, bullet sideways, continued tumbling. So that's one, two, three interior walls, four interior walls. This one hit a stud. You can see through the hole there, nicked part of that two by four. Came into the uh, representing exterior wall. OSB, insulation, OSB, and punch through. So the uh, M193 went clean through the house. We'll uh, reset it up and we'll hit it with the M855. Right, so we're set back up. We're back here with the uh, PMC XTAC, which is an M855 representation. It's a 62 grain soft steel penetrator, mild steel form. Load it up. here here's our entrance the uh, m855 pass clean through the first wall osb installation osb started tumbling again this one sideways clean through the back small little entry hole small little exit tumbling again sideways larger exit straightened out again small entrance Larger exit, entrance, so the bullet is sideways as it flies through this final wall. And the exit is much larger than the 193's was. 193 being right up here. All right, so we're gonna set it back up and we're gonna hit it with the 77 grain Black Hills. We'll save the 855A1 for last. All right, for the next test, we're gonna use the Black Hills 77 grain bobtail hollow point. I believe the military designates it as M262. Looks like that. This being a hollow point, I'm curious to see if it'll, it'll clear all the walls and exit out the back like the other ones. Entrance is right here, string it kind of right to left. Again, this is a 77 grain hollow point. Clean through, the bullet is breaking apart. All these little holes and explosions weren't here before. 
there's where the bulk of it continued through the wall if you look at the exit it's all tore up that was the 50 but this is the biggest chunk of that 77 we look over here got one some flakes it's almost destroyed itself by the second wall continue over here a couple of small nicks the largest part of that nick did make it through another small entrance but right here is an exit what Right there, wasp there. No real exit over here, nothing on our back wall. So this round was not capable of going through the uh, mock house. Last but not least is the M855A1. This is a 62 grain like its little brother. Moving faster, and the core instead of being mild steel is hardened. It's a leadless projectile, it's a copper steel mixture. Put this one right there beside that lash. We hit here. No surprise. Went through. Acting very similar to its little brother, the M855. Bullet started tumbling. Let me see if I can find it here. Right here. Started tumbling. Coming over the next wall. Continuing to tumble. Over here still tumbling and it looks like it's breaking up a little bit there's part of it there part of it here but it's continuing to tumble right here's our exit so it made it clean through that wall it did miss the studs marked in yellow came through here I'm studying the wall but I'm really not seeing an entrance and exit and I'm personally thinking it might have went through the hole here. I'm not 100%. But I have no doubt it cleared the entire apparatus. All right. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, learned a thing or two with me. Next time, we're going to set up a gel block. Basically simulate shooting somebody. Got about 10 inches of gel there. Go through what would be basically an interior wall. And then towards the end, we got innocent bystander about six inches of gel and uh, we'll test some of those other calibers and some other uh, common 223 calibers and maybe help you guys narrow down your choices what you want to pack in your uh, bedside uh, can't talk bedside gun thanks for watching